Project number 3. Today we are going to make a cool looking radar project, using only your microbit, ultrasonic sensor and a servo motor. Shown here is the radar tower, consisting of the ultrasonic sensor and the servo motor. And this is the main radar controller, which is simply a microbit microcontroller board. There are multiple ways of building your radar tower, as long as the ultrasonic sensor turns along with the motor, you will be fine. We will be showing you three different methods. Method number one, using a hot melt glue, to stick the ultrasonic sensor to the servo motor. This is probably the most straightforward method. Method number 2, you can use 3D printing for a professional looking radar tower. The 3D SDL files for printing are available on our GitHub project page. But if you wish to support us, you can purchase all the parts needed for this project from our online store. All the links can be found in the description of this video. Method number 3, laser cutting some plywood to make an elegant looking miniature radar model. Because of the length of the video tutorial, the full assembly guide for the laser cut radar will be made available in another video. Onwards with wiring. First, we are going to extend the cables from the servo motor. Next, we are going to connect the DuPont connector to the ultrasonic sensor. All cables in the kit are terminated with a metal eyelet, and to connect to your micro bit, we are going to arrange the nuts, screw and washer in a specific order to secure the eyelet. Screw head, follow with, micro bit, then, a washer, an eyelet, and lastly, the nut. It is a very tedious process, so please check and double check all your wire connections before you proceed. Moving over to software. Once we are done hooking up all the wires to the micro bit, we will need software to be loaded into our micro bit. Proceed by opening the make code project, with the link found in the description of this video. Hit on the download button, and wait for the computer to load the program into your micro bit. Pressing, button B, will start the radar's sweeping operation. Pressing, button A, at any time would suspend radar's operation. And you can press, button B, again to resume. For the final part of the project. Open up the p5.js project. Please make sure you use Google Chrome browser, as we will be using web serial for communicating between the p5.js web page and the microbit via the USB connection. Say hello, to our 2D Tony Stark. He will appear in our radar screen, when he flies within the radar's range. It is limited to 40 centimeters with the default software configuration, but you can modify the p5.js software yourself, if you ever need a wider scanning range. For our next video, we will show you how to adapt the radar project, to work with various other microbit expansion board. Such as Cytron's EduBit, as shown in the video. Again, stay tuned, and thank you for watching.